Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be making a paper snake and this was sent to me by one of my friends and it's here on Pinterest and here's another picture and let's get started. I have green paper because my snake is going to be green so I made these by drawing down the side of a ruler and then I cut those strips in half and then I made a special headpiece and a tail piece. And here's a closer look at the pieces I was talking about. So this is the tail and head piece. So what I did for this one to get it symmetrical was I drew kind of strawberry shape, I guess, if it's upside down. And then I folded it in half and traced it around the other side so then it'd be symmetrical. And then I've just added a bit more length onto them so then I can see how long I want my um, snake to be. And then like I said, I have 10 strips of these little rectangles on each pile. So all together I have 20. Okay, so for the decoration part of the python skin, you're going to do one set of rectangles, one pattern, and then the other set in a different pattern. So to demonstrate it up here, we have 10 with this um, pattern going up the middle, and then 10 here with these black humps on them. And you don't have to do those. I've just been looking at Python skin, and if you're into the geometric kind of shapes, you can spend ages and be really meticulous uh, trying to get your designs to look like these. They're super cool, but I think I'm going to go for something similar to that. So here I am drawing my first set of patterns onto the rectangle, so I'm going for the one that has the pattern going down the middle and I'm doing it on top of some blue card because I'm using a sharpie and I don't want it to seep through onto the table. So I finished my first pattern and I'm moving on to my second one. Now you can do any design at all, it doesn't have to be a traditional snake, just anything at all. So with all my pattern pieces now done, for inspiration for his head I went on to Google and I liked the look of this guy and then so I did his head and then that relating to one pattern and then with his tail I did that relating to the other pattern. Okay so the next part is to start assembling it. So what I'm going to do now is take the head part and I'm going to put a piece of glue here and then I'm going to bend it round and stick it to the underneath because how this is going to join together is we're going to do it like links. So one going round, one going through, one going on top and round like that. You go. So as you can see here, I've just glued that piece round there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece. And so I'm going to do it in alternate patterns. So this piece is going to go in here. I'm going to put some glue on the end there, wrap it round. And then I'm going to stick it on there like that. So then I've got a chain forming. So now with my different pattern pieces, this one's going round, so then this next one is going to go down and round like that. So I'm just going to carry on making a chain and then this one will go round like that. Now you can use glue or sellotape, either or, it really doesn't matter which other one you have to hand. But that's how we're going to form our snake. Right guys, so just letting you know that I did actually have to add on a another ring because it finished on this one and I thought why did it finish on that one but then I remembered I had 10 of each so it was an even number but I had to add the tail on so I needed an additional one so I've got some glue on here I'm just going to pop my tail through I'm gonna pull it around and then I'm just gonna pop it like that so then we have the tail so guys this is it and honestly I'm so excited this is the coolest thing I think I've ever made. It moves just like a real snake and when you wait for it to dry it'll be really strong like this is the coolest thing I've ever made. I think he's missing something. There we go, much better. So he's all done now. This is honestly guys so good and I absolutely love it like you can hang it in your bedrooms and absolutely everything. 
definitely recommend this one. Give it a go, I'd love to see it. You can make him any different colour, make him bright red, make him bright orange, give him red eyes, make him look evil. Do whatever you want, you could have love hearts all over him, he could be a nice one, who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching and I can't wait to see these amazing creations.